Hi, my name is Henry Giesbro. I'm the product manager here at MSC Supply Companies. We're a leading supplier of high quality materials, single crystal substrates, battery materials, including solid state electrolytes of all different types. Um, we also deal with powder processing equipment and uh, in the form of high energy planetary ball mills, roller ball mills, and we sell the milling jars and media as well. These are just a few of the offerings that we have here at MSC Supplies. Please come and see us at mscsupplies.com. All right, today we're going to be talking about the pellet pressing dies. We offer five different sizes. They range in size from the quarter inch or six millimeter, the 0.4 inch or 10 millimeter, the half inch, 12.7 millimeters, the one inch, 25.4 millimeters, and the big one, the two inch or 50.8 millimeters. All right, so all of them are set up with the exception of the two inch for vacuum center or vacuum pressing as well. Uh, when you order the uh, pellet press from us, what you will receive in the set is the die sleeve, okay, the base plate, the plunger, two spacers. The spacers are separately packaged because one side of these are highly polished. That side that is highly polished, when you insert it into the, the sleeve, needs to be polished side where it's touching the powder. Okay, so you also have the release cap. So those are the five things that you're gonna have, are the five different pieces that you will have when you order a set from us. Now, the large one, the two inch um, die does not come with the spacers in it, all right? That one does not come with the spacers in it. All right, so from here, we're gonna show you uh, how to load and actually press a pellet. All right, now that I've shown you the parts of the pellet press dies, I'm gonna show you actually how to load it and pelletize a powder using the die and this hydraulic press over here. Okay, so I've already cut some of this out. We've made a powder, this is aluminum powder. We've put some binder in there. We've mixed it all up really well. So that part you can do on your own. Um, first thing, you wanna take the, uh, do a little prep work. You wanna take like a Q-tip, a swab, and a little bit of baby oil, all right? And you wanna just lightly, that's too much oil. You wanna lightly coat the part of the mandrel that's gonna be inside the sleeve, all right? Don't get oil on top on the pressing surface. Now, take, put the sleeve on top of the base plate. Make sure it's seated well. Just put that there for a minute. We'll take our powder and load it into the press or the die. Now, Normally, you would do calculations of volume and density to figure out what thickness your final pellet would be. But since we're just showing a demonstration, we're not gonna worry about that right now. Now, after you load the press, or the, the die, zoom, you wanna flatten it out a little bit. You use the back side of the spoon for this. Just kinda, Flatten it out just a little bit so you don't have mountains in there. Let's it down, brush it away. Wipe the edges off. Then, before you put in the pressing part, take your baby oil. Again, don't get it on the pressing surface. Put a little baby oil on the piston just so that it helps release after you're finished. 
Now, we're gonna slowly insert the press into the die sleeve. All right, take the whole die over to the press. Power is off. Line it up. Turn the power on. And just slowly When it gets close, make sure everything's centered up. The handle until every 50 metric tons. And then our release. We'll let it sit for a minute. Normally you would set, let this stand maybe 10 minutes or so. For our demonstration purposes, we're going to go ahead and release. Turn the power off. We're going to flip the die over. Remove the base plate. See a nice pellet right there. Put in the mold removal tool. Go ahead and line it up. We're going to use the press to lightly pop out And since I rushed this pellet, we actually cracked it, but you can see it is pelletized. So, like I said before, normally you would let that sit for several minutes um, to make sure and ensure that you have a good pressing. One last thing to mention about this is you want to make sure that um, you always fully clean the press after each use to avoid any damage to the press and the press getting stuck. This is the pellet press die is one of the products that we offer at MSC Supplies. It's just one of the products that we offer. Come see us, take a look at what we have. We have something for you. Thank you.